Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a 2.5 million parse on the dummy. Yay! Now, uh, for most of you, uh, you probably know what parsing is. It's this program. It's called Star Parse. It allows you to measure your DPS. Uh, for most people, that doesn't really mean much. I mean, with the state of the game that's, that it's in, it's pretty easy to be able to deal a necessary amount of damage so that you can uh, do story mode raids and even most of the hard mode raids. However, with some classes, um, it might happen that uh, you're told that, oops, you're not good enough, bring something else. Or, oh hey, dude, your, your DPS just kind of sucks. Could you bring a healer? Yay! Indeed, but uh, that's not exactly very nice to say nor do I enjoy it when people say that to me, so right now I am trying to do my best to learn a new spec, which is uh, Assassin Infiltration. As you can see, a lot of my buttons are lighting up, and quite frankly, I have little to no clue what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just mashing buttons as they light up. Uh, basically, this attack here, Voltaic Slash, is supposed to proc most of my other abilities, which is why I use it a lot. And this here, Maul, when it lights up like so, it procs a slight um, force regeneration thing, which is also very good because generally Maul eats like half of my bar of force which is why you never want to use it um, if it's not lit up. Now, ball lightning, when it procs, it gives you definitely one charge of this, but discharge, you can only use it once you have a certain amount of stacks. Um, I'm not exactly very good at it, this spec yet, so some abilities uh, get delayed. Like, um, what happens here is when you force cloak, you automatically get three stacks, uh, which allow you to use your discharge. And as you've noticed, I specced into a utility that allows my Phantom Stride to likewise general generate uh, five stacks. And that way I can use more discharges in my rotation, which is very good. Also, when I use Phantom Stride, um, it also procs my Assassinate, which is also a very good uh, damaging ability. However, in this spec, you can only use it when the target is sub 30%, which is not so great. That's why we take a utility, I will show it to you later, um, which allows you to pretty much use Phantom Stride on cooldown, and when you do, you can get an extra discharge and an extra assassinate. Uh, which is pretty cool in my opinion, because... Well... Because we all know, the more damage you do, the better your DPS is. Now, um, generally, I DPS on a um, Madness Sorcerer. However, yesterday I was doing a hard mode raid, hard mode explosive conflicts. I've actually um, uploaded a few of those attempts. <coughs> it just really didn't go over too great. And so I was basically told that, dude, your DPS sucks. Can you, like, heal instead? Because, yeah, with the condition that the spec is in right now, it's very hard to do max DPS. And even if you do do it, uh, it will still be much worse than that of a Marauder, or a Sniper, or hey, a lot of other specs. Uh, therefore, it's, it's kind of awkward, you know, when people tell you that, hey, dude, your DPS sucks. 
I do not like it. I do not like it at all. And uh, therefore, I've, I've been trying to learn how to do something else. Especially since on my actual team, uh, we have two madness sorcerers. Yay! Which is even worse, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, because they have yet to fix the... Uh, Deathmark stacks, they still get consumed by other sorcerers and um, hatred assassins as well. Isn't that fun? No, I don't think it is, in fact. Like, as you've noticed, I think my biggest problem right now is that I can't, I don't notice when, I sometimes forget when my uh, recklessness and um, Phantom Stride and uh, Force Cloak comes of cooldown, so sometimes I use it uh, not as much as I should, uh, which of course leads to a DPS decrease, which is not good at all. Uh, which is this is 8.6, which is pretty much just about my average. So yeah, I'll be doing that a couple more times. Um, while I'm at it, let's take a look. Here's my gear. As you can see, my power is incredibly low. That is due to the fact that I have crafted gear for left side. And I have pretty much 230 armorings for set bonus with one uh, sage set bonus piece. So yeah. Um, yeah. And on this character, I actually have a 248 hilt and um, armoring. Uh, which I don't have on my shadow, um, it just means that I need to get legacy main hand and off hand to be able to switch them back and forth. So let's see, I've got 748 accuracy, which is uh, just exactly 110.12%. Uh, I get that by having uh, one enhancement and um, yeah, one, two, three augments and a proficiency, proficient stim which increases my accuracy and my crit. So that leaves me at 1637 crit and 1580 alacrity, which overall for her gear, I think it's a decent balance. However, this power rating, this power rating sucks. It needs to go up some at least two, 300 more, probably 300 at least. So yeah. Oh, hey, I'm already in dark too. My first dark side character, yay. Okay, I will... Oh yeah, they're right. Utilities. See, this is Deception. This is the burst spec for Assassin. Now it, it tells you all sorts of um, stuff about your... About your... Uh, 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 about your tree. Like, these highlighted ones are... I think stance specific, um, spec specific abilities, such as Reaping Strike um yeah apparently we can only use it from stealth but it gets procked now and then see here um voltaic slash uh da -da 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 -da. um deals damage builds up voltage shock and ball lightning a 50 percent to automatically trigger your surgeon charge off its normal rate limit so yeah, basically we need to use it a lot, but not as much as everything else. Basically, when everything else is unavailable, you use this. And if you're on ads, then you use your Lacerate instead. I'm not sure if there is any point in using Low Slash outside of PvP, because it seems to be a 4 second incapacitate. So yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, I decided to go with a reduce increase, uh, uh, reduce damage when stunned, increase damage for lacerate, uh, reduce cooldown for force cloak since I do seem to be using it pretty much on cooldown, and then um, extra sta charge for recklessness, which is very good. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. This one. Um. In this in in this heroic box, honestly, I'm not sure because this one, eh, 
Uh, it might be good for PvP, yeah, slowing targets or something. Um, force Cloak, two seconds of Force Shroud. Um, it could be, it could be if you're expecting to take lots of damage or PvPing. Uh, deflection, six seconds immunity to stun, slipped, lift, blah blah blah. Seems like PvP only, uh, mostly at least. Uh, whirlwind breaks early. I don't think assassins put whirlwind on target outside of PvP anyway. Um, well, uh, this definitely looks like PvP because this is. Um, Ooh. Oh, hey, this could actually... Yeah, this one increases my damage rating. So that's... Uh, my armor rating, sorry. That is pretty good. Um, and, of course, here we go. Uh, this one's uh, generally useful for fights like Nightmare Brontus, like Hard Mode. Oh, let's see. The mutated space mushroom, that's his face. Um, oh, the Andalurker, right? Where uh, the ads uh, put a slow on you. So you can pop your first speed and it'll be cleansed, I think. Now here, this one's the most important one for this spec because you can use Phantom Stride and the... Uh, and then, then, and yeah, and get a free proc for your discharge. Uh, same as uh, and when you're using uh, force speed you get a damage um, a DCD basically a defensive cooldown now this one is not so so honestly I have no clue I honestly I just decided to go with what looked good and this is what it turned out. So yeah, this has been um, Newbie Assassin Deception by Mint. Thank you for watching.